Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the first of four brand new anime series that we're going to be reacting to and each one of these four series have been voted by you guys actually. On the discord we had four polls, or I guess we had three polls where you guys posted suggestions for anime you wanted to watch and then everyone came in, voted for those anime and we have found three winners and then out of the losers we've randomized and selected one of them to join the others in the winner circle so the four anime we're going to be reacting to are that time i got reincarnated as a slime violet evergarden gintama and ao no kanada no four rhythm so in today's episode we're going to be reacting to that time i got reincarnated as a slime However, things are going to be a little bit different because unlike all of the other series, I've actually already started Reincarnated as a Slime. Way back around when I first started my channel, I had a blast watching through it. It was so much fun. However, I unfortunately had to put the series on hold because even though I was loving it, it didn't seem like many viewers were interested in the series. And on top of that, there was another anime. I don't remember what it was at the time, but they wanted me to react to that one more not too many people cared too much about reincarnated as a slime so I just set it aside and put it on hold but now I'm super excited because I know you guys are looking forward to these reactions but I think that I might be looking forward to these episodes even more just because I feel like it's gonna be really fun to come back to a series that I haven't watched in such a long time and I think now is the perfect time to because we're going to be reacting to episode 14 and 15 15. I left off on 13. If you'd like to see all of the earlier reactions, I will put a playlist in the description. But today, we're going to be watching 14 and 15. And if you guys don't remember, the last episode we left off just before fighting the legendary Orc Lord. Now, the Orc Lord is so big, so bad, so powerful that he literally snacks on other Orcs just to fuel himself for the day. This guy is a massive threat to the entire forest, so it's up to someone like Rimuru, who's insanely powerful, to try to take him down, but can we actually do it? I guess there's only one way to find out. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. It'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think. So if you could take the time to do that real quick, I would very much appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more bi-weekly reactions of Reincarnated as a Slime. The episodes are going to be going up every other week. However, there are going to be two episodes in every video that I post to kind of make up for that one week where it's not being uploaded. Loaded. And the reason why we're skipping a week is because on week one, we're gonna have Violet Evergarden and Reincarnated as a Slime. Then week two, we're gonna have Gintama and Aono Kanata, and then we're gonna go back to Slime and just back and forth between those series. But anyways, with that all out of the way, let's get right into these episodes. All right, so real quick, before we get into the video, I wanted to give you guys two ways that you can kind of enhance your viewing experience of this reaction, because as we all know, copyright is not fun to deal with on YouTube, so I did need to censor some parts of the video. However, I did try to edit it in a way so that you guys can visually see exactly where I am and follow along through the video alone, but I do also have two alternative ways in case the video itself isn't really your style. So the first way that I have is, of course, following along through the picture in picture method so if you are on PC or if you are on mobile all that you have to do is look for a picture in picture app or a picture in picture browser extension this is the one that I use right here and literally all that I have to do is go to the anime episode click a button and then I get a little screen of the anime that I can put in front of my reaction in this little corner right here it should look something like this it's super easy super quick but the second way that you guys can enjoy this is of course through the uncut picture and picture reactions if you'd like to check those out all that you have to do is head on over to the cloud crowd discord and then dm me just saying something like yo crow where can i get these picture and pictures and i will tell you exactly where you can find them completely for free so you don't have to worry about that just make sure to leave a comment telling me your thoughts at the end of the video. And with that all out of the way, let's get right into the reaction.
All right, so now we are going to react to Reincarnate as a Slime. And if you are on YouTube and would like to check out these episodes up to a week earlier than everyone else on YouTube, make sure to head on over to the Patreon. All patrons of $2 or higher are getting these episodes a week before anyone else. So if you'd like to be the first in line to check these out, then heading over to the Patreon will be the way to do so. But... If you guys are ready to get into the reaction, make sure to grab your source videos, pull them up, and then get ready to sync them with me, because we will be starting episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh man, look at this demon. Orc Lord, I'm going to put an end to you, dude. I think, honestly, I left off at such a perfect time because we're jumping back into the series right in the middle of a massive battle. Or I guess not in the middle, but right in the beginning. Because we're now face to face with the Orc Lord. And this guy, apparently the Orc Lord is a legend. Like, there's only been stories told about the last Orc Lord. And it kind of reminds me a bit of Dragon Ball Z. How, like, the first Super Saiyan was, like, this legend. No one's ever seen one. At least that's alive today. And now, we're about to be face-to-face -face with a freaking legend, dude. Oh, yeah. And another thing I forgot to mention in the opening is that, um... There's kind of been, like, three... I guess factions or three groups that have been fighting over the forest, right? There's the orcs, the ogres, and the uh, the lizards or the lizard men. Those are the three people fighting over the forest. Um, the ogres, as we know, have all been wiped extinct. The only ones that are left alive are the ones that are with us, like Benny Maru and everyone else. But the others are gone. The lizard men are still around, and the orcs are the ones terrorizing the entire forest right now. Oh man, what the heck is that? A new challenger approaches. It looks like a powerful one at that. What the heck was that sound? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this guy! Oh man, what was his name again? It started with a G. Was it like like Gordon or something? Gelmid. Okay, okay. It was Gelmid. I remember. The one who named Rigard's eldest son. Oh yeah, he was the guy that made the orc lord, didn't he? Like he was just an ordinary orc, and then he gave him a name. And now he's a monster. The ultimate pawn. Mmm. Oh, she does not look happy. She is ready to cut this man down. He gave Gabi to his name? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, what? So I guess he gave up on Gabiru and he's like, why don't you just be food for the real MVP out here? Nah, man. Dude, people like this are so scummy. Look at this monster. Look how huge he is. Hmm. The Demon Lord Orc Disaster. Yeah, who is he? Dude. I don't know if that's how you should talk to someone that freaking powerful, even if you did make him. Oh, snap! 
Oh my god. And Gabiru is okay. Man. Gabiru's got some real homies by his side. How many people do you know? If Gelmid were to shoot a blast at you, would it jump in front of the blast and block it for you? Man, there aren't a lot of real ones out there. That do that for you. Oh man. Death March Dance. He's really trying to end him right here. Oh man. And of course, the Nimuru just effortlessly blocking it with a smile. Oh man, oh man. Is even Gelman not even a match for Rimuru? <laughs> what are those? Oh, oh, okay, I remember. I remember that. Wasn't Rimuru able to, like, eat a bunch of, like, healing herbs and stuff, and then make those? Aw, oh, man. Is this the end of him already? I think we all have. We all have a little bit of a soft spot for Gabiru. Ooh! I like that. Shut him up. We've heard enough of you. Oh, again! Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh, no one wants this, dude. No one wants to be on your side. No one wants you here. Just get lost, man. And look at him slowly walking up to Galvin. <laughs> I'm hungry. Wait! Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, this definitely was the one that he saved in the desert. He's making his move. Dude, you gotta stop talking to him like that. Even if you didn't make him. Oh! Ooh. Oh my god! Just chopped his head clean off. And there's our confirmation. See, I told you. I told you. You keep talking to him reckless like that, dude. He's gonna cut you down where you stand. And look at him, just diving in. Oh, but now... Yeah, if we can already see it. He's getting a ton of power from eating him. Vastly increased... Evolution to Demon Lord is beginning. Oh no. Now we might have a real deal threat in front of us. Oh, his horns got bigger. He got bigger. And look at him. He reminds me of, uh, like Janemba or Cooler, dude. <laughs> he looks really sick now. Or even kind of like Frieza in his second form. Geld the Demon Lord. Dude, he got so much bigger. I think before he was only at where his stomach is right now. He's almost twice as tall. 
All right, be careful, guys. This guy is no joke. Ooh, you saw the rain get lifted? Like, the dew rise up from the ground? Dude. Uh, see? Yep, you gotta watch your back. I think it's gonna... I don't think that did it. Yeah, yeah, he's still moving. Ooh! Okay. That's new. I did not expect that. But I did kind of expected that it'd take a bit more than that to kill him. He can literally reattach a decapitated head. Ooh, and the thread's coming through again. Arcane thread fetters. But is it enough? And Benny Maru. Hell Flare. They're trying to cook him in that cocoon. Oh, and then we got the lightning strike. Dang. Hey, it's all good. Great job out there. These guys did some damage. But was it enough? You gotta constantly ask yourself that. Cause this dude's a freaking demon lord now. So this is pain. Oh no. He's getting more fuel. This isn't good. Oh my god. And look, that's how you know this guy's a real one, because he just let himself get mauled alive by the Orc Lord. Didn't even phase, didn't, like, scream in pain or nothing. Oh no, he's using Gelmid's move. This is bad news. And then Rimuru again. He's like, nah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> but now we're face to face with him. Look at that aura. The Great Sage. Auto battle mode? So wait, is the Great Sage, like, taking over right now? And they're gonna be fighting for Rimuru? Dude, where can I give me a Great Sage? Cause I swear, the Great Sage is probably, like, single-handedly the coolest ability that Rimuru has. Okay. Ooh, I bet you that fire is making it so that he can't recover. It's like some super intense flame that can burn quicker than he can heal or something. Ooh! Dang, he said, all right, I'll just get rid of the whole freaking arm. And look, good as new. He's going for the double trouble. See, how many times do we gotta tell you? This is not gonna work! <laughs> oh, snap! <gasps> no! No! Did he really? Hey man, shout out to Shizu. This one's for you. Gone but never forgotten, man. Let's go. Dang, and it still wasn't enough. Ooh.
Dang. Yeah, you did good, Great Sage, but we got it from here. We'll finish him. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, snap! Dude, is Rimuru about to devour an entire demon lord? I don't get it, man. I don't get how they make slimes look so OP in here. Because usually in like RPGs, slimes are fodder. They're like the weakest enemies you fight. And Rimuru is over here slaying demon lords. Yeah. Yeah, he can't even get rid of us. I think it's over. I think we've sealed the deal here. Look, doesn't even matter. There's nothing you can do now. Yup, which is stronger? The Battle of the Hungry. Dang, if you are starved, then I am a devourer. Oh man, flashback time? Oh snap! Dang, he ripped off and offered his own arm to feed the other orcs that were hungry. Jeez. Yeah. And Rimuru is kind of like traveling back into his memories. Oh, and that was probably how he bumped into Gelmid while he was traveling to the forest. Man. Oh. Yeah. I cannot let myself be eaten. Dang, this looks so sick. Oh, is he gonna bounce back? Oh, but I think it's a bit too late at this point. Oh, and we can see his skin melting away. His muscle is exposed.
I'll devour all your sins along with you. I'll devour the sins of all your brethren too. On we can see the bone now. You are greedy. Dang. And look, he's reverted to normal. And now look. This is so... Oh my god, man. This is so wholesome. See, I don't think he was a bad guy, man. He was just trying to save his people. And now he's finally at peace. Thanks to Rimuru. All right. Rest in peace, Geld. Ah, uh, okay, so the orcs are back to normal now. Let's go, Rimuru. What a legend, man. Such a cool dude. What a cool... Oh my god, man. This series. Oh man, is this goodbye? Gladly! What the heck? I mean, I guess I'm not too surprised. They don't really have any other place to go. And plus, it seems like they've definitely... Oh my... Oh my god, dude. I'm starting to remember now. I said this before, and I'll say it again. Rimuru is so freaking lucky, dude. <laughs> that lucky son of a gun. Man. But I was gonna say, I think... Dude, there's something. There's something in my soul telling me that Shizu is coming back. That cannot be the end of her. There's no way that they can make a character that looks so cool with such a badass backstory and just, like, she dies after what? Was it, like, three episodes? There's no way they're getting rid of her for good that easily. Oh, and I can see right here we're kind of traveling through all the events that happened thus far. So I'm guessing this is, like, the halfway mark. I think after this... We're going to get into, like, a brand new arc. Maybe brand new opening. Because we are, like, 14 episodes in. And there's 24, so we're kind of at the halfway mark. This would be the perfect time to... Throw in a new opening and a new, I guess, kind of adventure for us to go on. But, man. I hope Shizu comes back. Mad respect to Geld and to the guys that protected Gabiru. The Judah Forest Alliance. All right, man. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the discussion for the end of this. So we're going to react to, well, we already reacted to 14. I'm going to jump straight into 15. And then afterwards, I will give all of my thoughts in a nice little end discussion at the end of the video. So, I will catch you guys right over at episode 15. Alright, so whenever you guys are ready, make sure to grab your source videos, pull them up, and then get ready to sync them with me, because we will be starting episode 15 of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. In 3, 2, 1, go! 
All right. Okay. And the oh, was it the the dryad? Is that what she was? She's finally back. Ooh, and we do get a new opening. And she's dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She's who's coming back. I don't know when. I don't know how. But there's no way she's gone for good. I feel like the writers for this series realized, like, dang. She's too cool. We made too cool of a character to just get rid of her like that. Everyone loves her. We gotta bring her back. Man. Okay, so here's the, the pink orc. We didn't see her at all last episode. Oh, yeah, and isn't there one more? There's, like, one that, um... I think before he had, like, bluish skin... But after he was named and he evolved, he has more of a, like, human-like look. And he was, like, a blacksmith or something. But, dude, I'm having a blast. And here she is. I don't know who the heck she is. But I see her face almost as much as I see Rimuru's. Oh, and it looks like she's with the bad guys. Man. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I didn't even think of that, man. I can't wait to see, like, the future of the orcs. Because not all of them are bad. They were just, like, under the control of the starved. So there's no way we're going to lock them up in prison or nothing, right? Look, right there. Rimuru said himself, no crimes charged. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's all good, man. Don't worry. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. They were prepared to fight for their clan, for their species. So they may have been killed, but they died as warriors. Here we go. Jesus. Oh, snap. What about the orcs? Okay. That makes sense. They seem pretty bulky. We have 150,000 of them, so... Let's go. I feel like we just got a very powerful ally right here. Yep. That's the trade-off. You can stay with us, but you guys gotta work. You can't just sit around on your butts. Ah! 
I just realized, I love how Rimuru is just casually just <laughs> chilling right there, man. And look at that. Look at that. You guys will never starve another day in your lives. Hmm? Oh, snap! The new chancellor. Dang. <laughs> Demon was like, uh, hold on, I didn't sign up for all of this. Dang. Looks like you got even more responsibility, buddy. All right. Let's go. Oh. Dude, I have such mad respect for this guy. And all of the orcs. They were painted as such terrible people. And they're really not that bad of guys. Instructor, spy. Well, that makes sense that he was at her lab. She's a secretary. Yeah, and that's the dude. The blacksmith guy. Good point. Let's go. Look at this, man. Good guy, Benny Maru. Good guy, Benny. Oh, that was his father. The new leader of the orcs. naming him after his father. He's transforming. He got the freaking Super Saiyan aura around him. Orc King. Oh, man. Ten days, dude. Did he get any time to eat? Any time to... Well, I guess he doesn't have to eat or use the bathroom. But dang. Oh, snap! And this is the new chieftain? Or I guess his new look. Alright. Time for judgment, Gabi Doo. Exiled. Dang, kicked out of his own hometown.
Oh, snap. Look at that, dude. They're like, hey, man, the rules are the rules. We got to exile you. But take care out there, man. Here's your spear. Here's some food. And good luck out there. Oh, no. Do they even know that he was exiled? Oh, snap! Dude, these guys are real ones. These guys are probably the realest friends you could ever ask for. My man got exiled. And they said, hey, if you're exiled, we're coming with you. These guys are so cool. But the thing is, like, even if Gabiru was exiled from the Lizard Clan, couldn't he still technically join us in our village? Or can he not? Because... We're, like, all in alliance now. Demon Lord Clayman. So I wonder if these guys are as strong as the Orc Lord? Or are they, like, way beyond him? Right, everyone's hard at work. An aqueduct? Holy crap, they have toilets and a sewage system. Roads. Let's go. And we probably couldn't have done it without these guys. Ranga. All right, our village is coming along, expanding bit by bit. An emergency, oh no. Oh, snap, what the heck? Oh, wow, so there's like an army of Pegasus Knights? Yeah, Pegasus Mountain Knights. And this guy... Weren't we in, like, a court case or something with him? I don't remember. I think it was way back when we were first meeting with the dwarves. I think this guy was, like, the dwarf king or something. Mm-hmm. So he might see us as a threat now. We're getting too powerful. Here he is. With all of his men. Hmm, so I wonder if they're gonna... If they're coming here to throw down, to test our might. Or if maybe we're gonna negotiate or something. The hero king of the dwarves. Dang, she said, hey, we can get rid of him easy peasy.
All right. What business do you have with us? Yep, we're we're quite the big deal now. Oh? Ah, uh, so it looks like he came here to throw down. Dang. I guess, man. Let's see. Let's just hope that the dwarves don't lose a king here. But I'm guessing, like, we all know Rimuru is not the type to, like, cut him down for real here. Oh, okay. So now we have the terms of the battle. We just have to withstand his attacks. Let's do this. Ah, okay. Trainee is going to be our referee. Let's go. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so we're still gonna fight. That's unavoidable at this point. Let's do this. All right, we're going in. And this guy's definitely no slouch, but look at that. That leg strength is impeccable. The way Rimuru just caught his balance while being sent flying. Dang, and he's got some weight behind his swings. Oh no, I smell a signature move coming. Thunder of heaven and earth. Ooh, close. Oh, yep, yep, that makes sense. Heaven and earth. Starts from attacking from below and then finally from above. But we blocked it. And we win. All right, respect, man, respect. Numido's master. Oh? Oh, snap! Yeah, yeah, okay, so this guy taught both of them. We're getting a little taste of his backstory here. Alright. That's a lot of praise though, for him to say that the that the dwarf king has surpassed him.
a treaty. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. So he'd much rather be allies with us. Because, uh, it seems like we're gonna become pretty big threats in no time. And he'd rather be on the right side of the war. Or I guess I say the right side of the war, but really I mean like us versus the demon lords. Oh, is it time? Time for a name. I like it. The Judah Tempest Federation it has a nice ring to it. And this town shall be called Rimuru. Dude. Capital City Rimuru. Yeah, I think it's too late now. You can't change their minds. All right, and we seal the deal. Yep. And and that is the end, dude. And Shizu again, man. This is like they're making it obvious at this point. She's definitely coming back. There's no doubt. Because there's no reason why they like show her so much in the opening and in the ending if she were completely gone especially because this um this opening is or this isn't the opening but this new opening and the ending are supposed to represent the second half of the first season so if she's appearing in the second half even though she's dead it's very likely that she's going to come back some way or another but man, this is really cool. It looks like we're gonna have a little group of kids that we're gonna take under our wing. And look at that, slicing and dicing it. Hey, anyone want fried fish for lunch? <laughs> and look, she's actually... Okay, so it looks like she's on our side. So maybe it's one of those situations where we start off as enemies, we fight, we gain some level of respect for each other, and then she ends up joining us. And that also explains why so many people love her. Because usually, you don't really see, like, villains so... What's the word I'm looking for? You never really see villains receive so much love. Well, how do I explain it? Because, I mean, I guess there are some instances, like Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, there are some villains that do get a lot of love, but, um, hmm, I guess there aren't really a lot of female villains, but I can't really think of many female villains that are actually, like, um, I guess highly loved by the community, if that makes any sense, at least more than the main character. I don't think it's really too common where that happens, but it makes sense in this instance because she's someone that starts off as an enemy that eventually joins us on our team. And it's kind of like, if you think about Dragon Ball Z, do you think Vegeta would be nearly as loved as he is now if he was always a villain? I think the fact that he joined us and the fact that he's working with us is why so many people love him and that might also be the reason why so many people love this girl with the pink hair because she starts off as a villain she's probably really cool and she ends up joining us on our adventures so it gives us a lot more time to get to know her to bond with her and to i guess um gain some level of uh love for her if that makes any sense but, um, I love this series, man. It was so, 
so much fun coming back into this series after so long. We came back at the perfect moment, right at the beginning of such a hype fight. We got to see not only the entire fight, but also kind of the results of the fight. We got to settle everything after the smoke cleared, and it seems like we're about to begin a brand new adventure. So I am so hyped to see where things go from here, man. But before I end it, of course we gotta do our question of the day. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, all right, so my question of the day is going to be, if you were, I guess, uh, born into this world and you could choose which race you'd like to be born into outside of slimes, slimes are completely off the table, which one would you choose? Would you choose ogres? Would you choose the, like, tempest wolf? Well, I guess they were regular wolves before. Would you choose them, the goblins, the orcs? Let me know which race, or I guess species, would you join if you had the choice? Um, me personally, I think, oh, I think I would join the ogres. That might be an obvious answer, but the ogres just look so cool. I think out of everyone we've, or all the species we've met so far, I think the ogres look the coolest. So I'd probably like to join them, man. The horns, the colors, they just all look so sick. But clearly, if I had the choice, I think everyone would want to be a slime. Because slimes are absolutely OP in this universe. But that's why I wanted to take them off the table. Because that's the, like, biggest obvious answer. But let me know what you guys would like to choose. I don't know, maybe there are some people that'd like to be one of the big bulky orcs out here. It could also be a dragon, like any any species that we've met so far. The Dryads? Hey man, the choice is yours, let me know which one you would pick. But anyways, with that I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Saishona content. But with that, I'm going to head out and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.